Yo, morning guys. Uh, it's about 4 a.m. now and just waiting for the boys to pick me up. Today we're gonna go out plugging. Um, so yeah, I got all of my gear ready. I got the pole, cooler bag, all the tackle is inside of this <coughs> um, pouch. And in here, I got all the all of the camera equipment gonna go in there. Anyway, so looks like they're here already. They are totally here. Yeah. <laughs> That's fast. Okay, I'm gonna pack up and head out. See you guys out there. Sampur uh, Amegari, by far one of my favorite lures. So, yeah, hopefully, everyone's starting to fish. So, as always, I'm running behind, but that's okay. See you on that first cast. Oh, that is a eel. <laughs> yeah, this guy went and jump out at me. Man, I love this. So I ventured far down the coast, fishing for the next two hours, not knowing that Bradadex had already hooked up. Alright. Nice one again, bro. Sure. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, for everybody. Holy crap! <laughs> was it like before the sun came all the way up? Yeah, so I think it was like what, 637? Yeah. Alex, Alex, um... Oh. Because we was already looking at the fish and then he looked, oh, 637. Oh, shit.
Sorry, I couldn't get it on film, but man, the explosion on Chris's freaking fish was like a bomb. <laughs> a bomb hitting the water, that's all I can explain. And then mine, uh, I think Chris Rockers got it on film a little bit on his camera, but mine ended up blending. Freaking good size on, I don't know. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Right before we headed up, I got wrecked. Yeah. Big boy, big boy this one. Yeah. 
So basically I got reefed. Um, right before we packed up and headed up, I decided to do a couple more casts and on the second cast I got a monster hit. Now I don't know if you saw it but at first he got caught on a coral head or something and I was able to get him free by um, releasing the bell, giving some line and then give him a couple seconds, flip the bell again and then boost him up. Um, in doing so though, he got free but ended up making his way towards this big ledge that's on my right and um, he didn't he didn't cut the line um, I ended up just snapping the line just because it was he went under the ledge and he would not come back out I stayed like this for a solid five to ten minutes and by then I believe my line was all wrapped up in the reef so Aside from that, it was an action-packed day. It was a successful outing because Dexter got his Ulua. Um, there was several more hits. I think throughout the whole day, there was six total hits, including Dexter's Ulua, including this one. Um, I didn't get in on any footage on my camera because all my cameras was dead, except for the one that I forgot inside of the truck. So yeah. And here's a clip for the next video, so stay tuned. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> oh. Here we go, come to me, baby. 